A startling new look at the wild, wild west mentally gripping parts of Oakland. Criminals shooting it out in the streets with no one around to stop them. In a KPIX 5 exclusive, Dahl Lynn spoke with one man whose camera was rolling when he was caught in the crossfire. You're looking at the dash cam of a driver as he drives right into the line of fire. The guy in the blue hoodie fires at the oncoming red car 15 times. You can see the orange muzzle flash right there. At least six people are nearby, but that doesn't deter or stop the gunman from shooting. What's just as stunning is the response from the teenager 15 feet away from the gunman. He doesn't run, hide, or duck, as if it's just another day in Oakland. Fearing retaliation, the driver who captured this video doesn't want to show his face, but says through a translator, the shooting reflects the lawlessness in parts of Oakland. Yeah, okay. I was scared to death. I feel unsafe to live in Oakland. It happened Wednesday morning at the intersection of 23rd Avenue and East 23rd Street, a working class neighborhood in East Oakland. Councilman Noel Gaia lives nearby. It's really disturbing and alarming that, you know, this continues on a daily basis. He believes bad guys are getting more reckless because Oakland officials won't let cops be aggressive. Last month, we showed you this shootout on High Street. The guy in the white shirt was running and gunning with another group of people. Caught in the crossfire, a seven-year-old boy. Police identify the gunman in the white shirt but did not arrest him. The district attorney says he was returning fire, so technically it was self-defense. Gallo says it's that kind of inaction that emboldens the bad guys, leaving the average person hopeless. We need to take these guns off their hands, and the only way you're going to do it, you got to stop, you know, question and search people and remove the guns. The driver showed the dash cam video to his neighbor, and the, vi and the neighbor said, those are the same two guys who robbed in at gunpoint over the weekend. Liz? Yes, no kidding. Well, that video is incredible. Yeah. I'm curious, Da, how are police responding to this? Yeah, a police officer actually went to see the video. He did not take a copy of that video. He said that he would go check out the intersection and see if he can find those two individuals. And that's the last we heard. Wow. All right, Da, thank you.